Hello and welcome back. Um, yeah, the last one was was bad, wasn't it? It was pretty bad. Um, I am trying new things. I'm trying my best to learn new things, and uh, sometimes things are gonna go badly. But you know, such as it is. So, um, wow, this wait, that's not a gate. A rift, sorry. Conjuration spells. I do like conjuration spells a lot. Um, and I also have talked about the fact that I like Death Bolt, which is a conjuration spell. So we could take this and um, improve it on the next floor. That sounds like a, a good idea. Nice. I, I think I, yeah, I, I, my record is only casting it three times. This also has an Earth Troll Crown, which sounds interesting. Okay, so we have three gates, all goblins. We could come here and upgrade our death bolt right away, which would be kind of nice. Um, extra w w minion damage. When non-living units damaged by death bolt lose max HP equal to the damage dealt. I don't know about that one. And then death bolt permanently gains one damage whenever it slays a living target. I kind of want to get this, and I could get it right away. So if we could, if we could finish this floor without um, using, like, what is this cannon? Excuse me, Goblin Siege. Are we? Oh, this thing will hurt me right away. We gotta, we gotta get rid of that. I did, didn't realize that we, there were cannons on the floor. Can that guy reach me? Oh, oh, oh! This is bad. This is highly bad. Maybe their accuracy is, is not great. So we have a skeletal goblin siege mechanic. It'd be kind of cool if they retain some of the abilities that they had when they were uh, alive. I guess what I should do is instead of using death uh, bolt to do damage on a gate, I should just create more skeletons. Seems like a better idea, doesn't it? Because the skeletons are probably going to do more damage overall. So we're out of Death Bolt. I'm hoping... Well, no, that's there's no way. I'm hoping at least that skeleton will take care. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, uh, we'll have to use a mana potion, unfortunately. Okay, that should be enough. We'll do one more, but th there sh that really should be enough. All right, I, I probably wasted some, that's fine. So we're gonna have enough to be able to upgrade our Death Bolt with this Withering. Sorry, Soul Battery. Permanently gain one damage whenever it slays a living target. It'd be really cool if there's a skill somewhere that was like, whenever something dies, this, there probably is one. Whenever something dies, you, it has a chance to come back as a zombie for yourself. Uh, conjuration. Bone Guard. Oh, Bone Guards are nice. I liked Bone Guard a lot, actually. Um, so, we could just, like... I mean, I don't I don't have infinite mana potions. Ooh, this, this is a nice... Oh, Fire and Holy Conjuration Spell. Or holy conjuration spell. With the chosen spell, summon minions randomly gain a holy or fire bolt attack. The attack deals damage equal to the spell minion damage stat. Has a two turn cooldown and has a four range of four tiles. So it would have been a really good idea for me to use this conjuration circle to get a nice holy summoning spell. That would have been really smart, huh? Uh, I am going to go here. Large worm ball. Large worm balls are kind of a problem. This, this is honestly not too bad. This is totally doable. Okay, we're gonna go here.
So they, they should be doing... The, uh, the skeletons will actually not be doing too much damage, but death bolts should be doing more damage. It's already doing 14 damage each time. So taking that, like, really early, I think is going to, to be a good idea. So there's only one more gate to worry about. Honestly, at this point, I would just like to increase the damage dealt by my skeletons. We are going to have to use another potion. Okay, that should be good. Nice. So there's so many pickups on this floor. It's kind of ridiculous. I love it. All right. So... We can take a... None of your spells can be improved. Yeah, so we need to take either a fire or a holy conjuration spell. Conjuration. So... Um, flame gate, I guess. Flame gate is the only one that I can kind of afford. Oh, there's, a, there's choir of angels. Angels can sing, dealing two fire, two holy damage to all undead, demon, and dark units in a five-tile radius. Living in holy units in the song's radius are healed. A wizard cannot be healed. The angels vanish after ten turns. And these guys vanish after nine turns. So a choir of angels might be better. Uh, they have one shield, 50% resistance. Um... To fire and holy damage and 100% resistance to dark damage. Dealing two fire and two holy. So living creatures are not hurt by this. I feel like um, flame gate might be better or maybe frost fire hydra. They vanish after 15 turns and they're dragons. 16 health. Beam attack which deals nine fire damage with a nine tile range. Has a beam attack which deals I have seven ice damage with a nine tile range. Yeah, I mean, that sounds really good. And it actually has a decent number of charges as well. So I'm going to take that and then we're going to improve it so that it also gains a fire bolt attack. All right, so next up is we could go and um, do more conjuration. Kind of feel like I should not do that. Um, and instead shake things up a bit. These guys are all mushroomy. Um, Gosha, are Gosha immune to dark magic? Resist dark magic. But they are not immune to uh, holy damage. However, we're not doing holy damage, so I'm not sure why that's applicable. Nature. Um, worm balls. What are worm balls resistant to? Nothing. This green slime is immune to poison and some physical uh, blizzard is resistant to ice but uh, we we do fire and ice which is kind of nice um this is a decent floor we could learn some nature spells or more double double triple down on conjuration we could go conjuration and go a like get a different summon which would be nice and aside from the steel spider actually everything on this floor is is not bad this guy does resist a lot of stuff that we do but not dark so we could kill the steel spiders with dark magic um giant spiders are also resist um weak to, to ice as are the hellhounds so this one's not bad actually i kind of like this one So I'm thinking I might go here, which is a risky move, but it means we're safe for one round. And then we're gonna death bolt this spider. We didn't get a skeleton out of that? That's bizarre. Do we not get, are they not living? Oh, they're, they're constructs. Oh, right, so we don't get skeletons out of them. Okay, so let's get our Hydra instead. That's okay. These guys are of course not living either. Let's see how the uh, Hydra does. And 
we'll death bolt the giant spider. They should, yeah, okay. So we're, we're good with the giant spiders. Just not the metallic giant spiders. Uh, and then I'm gonna, oh, I can't, I can't get that guy. So we're gonna summon another Hydra. Hydra, I don't know if, are they immobile? Can they, yeah, they are immobile. Okay, so they can't move. Where did you come from exactly? Where did that hide? How did that guy get in here? <laughs> How are we taking damage right now? I guess we're not. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's why. Oh, poison is such a bummer. Okay. Creates four friendly earth troll gates. I don't know if we want to do that yet, but we will heal after the poison is done. I'm going to go ahead and maybe summon another Hydra soon. I want to get rid of that gate. So these guys are going to create problems for me. Let's put a Hydra in the, in there so that we uh, block enemies from coming in. Oh, they, they died. Wow, they don't have a lot of health maybe? 16 health. How, how are these spiders doing so much damage? It applies poison for 10 turns. Wow. Okay. That's that's a problem. Um, we're out of death bolts. I am 100% going to have to use a potion. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a bunch of hydras. Just like fill the room and then uh, use a mana potion. These things don't last forever. They do have a certain number of turns that they last for. Um, so are all the gates gone? That's good. That is actually very good. Do the, what's the range on these guys? Okay, we're, we're getting into it. Can we, can we kill it from here? Actually, let's just throw down another Hydra. They're they're pretty effective at killing those guys. Oh, there's still one gate. Oops. Um, we can... Oh, we can't reach that gate. Oh, that's going to take forever. I uh, wonder if it would be worth... Yeah, let's teleport there. And then we'll Living Bolt this guy. All right, so we had to use up a teleporter, but I think you'll agree it was pretty worth it. I was like the farthest away from the gate, the last gate that I was gonna be. So I wouldn't mind, um, like honestly, let's let's see what a, a skill, a conjuration skill would be. Hound Lord, no, that's right. Conjuration skills are actually not great. At least not in my opinion. Face stone heals for 10 HP. I don't understand face stone. I guess it's just like it's a it's a thing on the floor that other enemies can hit. Summon a face stone nearby. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, the face stone teleports near the target and gains one. I don't understand. Is it just something that like it doesn't do any damage and it doesn't improve any of my skills? So I'm not sure what the point of it is. Um, Conjuration circle. I probably want to continue upgrading some of our spells. I wouldn't mind upgrading minion damage, for for instance. Non-living units damaged by death bolt. Lose max HP equal to the damage dealt. Um, increase the damage. We don't really need to do that. I think I'd like to increase minion damage and also um, maybe max charges. We can maybe consider Frost Hydra, Frost Fire Hydra next, but I'm 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 content with what we've got going on right here. I wouldn't mind um, Ruby Heart, uh, to increase our health a bit. Enhances Dark or Ice spell with plus twenty percent damage on kill. Frees up to four enemies in line of sight of the slain unit for two turns. That could be really good. Can be applied only to sorcery and enchantment skill. Well, our Death Bolt does apply. So we, I actually wouldn't mind applying this Frozen Skull. That would be really good. I would like some more health. Um, would be probably a good idea to get some health, but what does this look like? That's That seems kind of nasty to me. Let's have a look at this one. 
This one's still kind of nasty, but not as bad. So let's let's go here and immediately improve our death bolt because it's a, it's a pretty safe zone. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw a hydra down. That's gonna take care of that gate like right away. Oh, maybe not. We're gonna need to throw some death bolts out. These are living, right? But they're only fly swarms. These are constructs, so they're not gonna apply. The satyrs are gonna be perfect um, candidates for um, the death bolt. Good luck um, getting one though. Before it dies. Uh, this one, okay. We could, this is a. There, there we go. There's a good. There's a good hit. How much is Death Bolt doing now? Forty-two damage. Yo, it's actually doing a ridiculous amount of damage now. We're out of Frostfire Satyrs. Um. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Hydras. I wonder if we could kill our own Frostfire Hydra and turn it into a, um, a skeleton. I really want to turn this giant Satyr into a, into a skeleton. It would be, that would be so good. Okay, let's, um, let's use one on that guy. I should at least hit this guy. Okay, there we go, perfect. So now we have a 95 health with 14 physical damage uh, skeleton on the on the field. These these um, big old satyrs are, are going to be very helpful. I can honestly uh, trust that that satyr giant satyr is going to be enough to take out that gate on its own. I don't want to take. I don't want to waste. Um, a death bolt on these fly swarms. I think that they are, are I think that would just be a waste. But Satyrs are good. They're 19 health, so they're worth um, throwing down a death bolt for. Honestly, I think what I've got on the field right now, I've got two of these giant uh, Satyrs. I think that'll be enough to, to take out what's left. To do what needs to be done. All right, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so we have an enchantment circle, an ice circle. That could be interesting. Another ice circle with an ether dra uh, dagger and another troll crown. This is a normal troll crown. I have an earth troll crown. This also has a troll crown. Welp. And then a masked wizard. I wonder if that is the wizard that I need to take out. I, I kind of doubt it. Um, I'm gonna go for this one. Let's see how bad it is, but I, I'd like to get a mana potion. Uh, that's pretty bad. Oh, the whole field is a disaster. Oh my god. It, there is a safe spot, and it would be possible to survive, maybe. I could definitely turn a couple of these guys. That guy has 14 health, so that's not bad. Uh, I don't know. See, what happens though is that if I create a skeleton, their melee, they would take damage basically every single time they move. Because, um, oh, and these guys summon mushrooms. Deals one damage to caster, ignores walls. Oh, interesting. These guys, they take damage whenever they fire off a spell. Well, okay. You know what? This would be a good candidate for a, uh, earth troll crown these guys are immune to dark i assume yes these guys aren't though but we're gonna throw down um some trolls i'm gonna hit that guy is he he is living did he have a shield we're gonna just create as many skeletons as we can. I wouldn't mind uh, seeing some some uh, trolls pretty soon. 
Okay, we're gonna have to use our mana potion. All right, all right, I did, I was not paying close enough attention to her health and I died. I had six health potions I could have used. That was really, really bad. Damn it. I get to, I get too focused on like the, the combat, trying to fight stuff off that I, I don't realize how close to death we are. I, I do wish there was maybe a bit of, of a warning signal, but I understand implementing one is not an easy task. Um, all right, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Unfortunately, uh, things were going pretty well, but I, I messed it up pretty badly at that last uh, that last moment. If you did enjoy it, nonetheless, uh, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching.